advertisers in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, the heyday of advertising, they were a little generous with the uh, playful violence against women. And it wasn't even necessarily to motivate buyers. It was just to be hilarious and derogative against women. So this is a, a famous brand everyone probably knows of, and they, they did some pretty horrible advertising back in the 1950s. <laughs> it says, uh, Betty Crocker's Cake Mix Secrets Help Husbands Beat Wives. Capital letters. Big, bold, capital letters. In cake baking contests uh, from coast to coast. Now pretend that you have glasses, you're nearsighted, you're standing you know, yeah. about 50 feet back. All you see is a delicious looking cake and, and husbands, husbands beat, beat wives. wives. And then you're like, oh, I gotta eat that cake. You're like, uh, yeah, yeah, it's like, right. cake, put the page. This cake is so good, you're gonna have to beat your wife. Hus- husbands beat wives, and how do we celebrate? By eating a cake. <laughs> and I'm then, in. And then you get close to it and you're like, oh. Like, this is what I wanna say though, is like, yeah, it's, it's obviously not, uh, you don't wanna approach this kind of publicity but at least betty crocker is trying to encourage husbands to bake right all right you know what i mean like hey if he's whisking the batter with his hand open i don't think he can go to jail yeah, right? exactly. yeah that's yeah i think that was the rule in the 1940s <laughs> all right so this next one's pretty straight to the point here all right this one says have some fun beat your wife tonight and i don't know why there's a need for anything else but apparently <laughs> there's a in the fine print specifically yeah but underneath public service announcement underneath have some fun yeah i think this was like one of the, you know they have yeah. the friends the, don't let friends dive the more you know now this is what they used to do it's like the, have some fun beat your wife but underneath it it says then celebrate with some good fun and drink with your friends at your nearby bpa fun center the bright modern lanes that give you air conditioning and open bowling all summer long and if your wife beats you Remember that BPA Fun Center provides free lessons, which I imagine is like karate or something. You know? <laughs> uh, and then obviously at the bottom it says, bowling's a ball at your BPA Fun Center. I like that. If your wife beats you in public, then you'll beat her in private, is what, <laughs> is what we know. Yeah, the scores are going to be settled one way or For another. Sure. And then while she's out cold, you can come take some and lessons. And listen. No- <laughs> Steve Reich! <laughs> Nothing hits harder than a She's bowling like ball. She's praying that not all the pins go down. So this next one, just the headline. Is it always illegal to kill a woman? <laughs> That's more like a philosophical question. And look how livid the guy looks. He just looks like he's had he's had it up to here he's, with that lady. He's She's not, having none of it. This an, She's looking smug. Is this oh, a Dershowitz op-ed? He's frustrated, not because of her, just because he can't legally kill her. And why is this? Oh, come is on. that a sewing machine? So the product is something called a postage meter, and it was like one of the very first automated ways to put your postage on your envelopes and shit. Before then, it was just like the little old lady licking away. put the stamps on And it. putting it on just slow. Yeah. And you you're can't. just so mad. At She's so slow. I just want to kill her. You can't fucking count on women to be able to have the skill to put a stamp on an Maybe envelope. Maybe it's because like now she doesn't have any saliva left for anything else after she gets done addressing all these letters. Is that we, what it we've is? We've got to find she's a way. No and look at her saliva smug. She's like, her she's like, look at her face. Like, I just can't. I'm sorry. I don't care if it's your birthday. I just can't. I have no saliva left. I got no saliva left. So they got him. <laughs> and that's why we and recommend at the seams. stamps.com. <laughs> Pitney Bowes was the stamps.com. Of stamps.com. Do a promo code. Chris Decorous. There we go. We got our first advertising bump. I love it. What a it. great way to incentivize a man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't want to kill a woman? Stamps.com. And this next one is straight to the point. All it right. wasn't even an ad for a product. All right, now this just says, do you still beat your wife, question uh, mark? And then it says, maybe you should never have stopped. Read why in the rollicking, provocative, yet educational booklet entitled, Why You Should Beat Your Wife. <laughs> Written by an eminent practitioner of this manly art. Then 15 cents in stamps or coin to whatever the address is. And there's a little drawing of a dude banking. I mean, imagine that's his And look wife. how happy the woman looks. She's got a grin on her well, face. Oh, she knows she had it coming. I did, like Again, there's like we're looking at, at ads that are like not PC, but I don't know how you can make a PC ad about a book that is telling you how to beat your wife. It's, as long as they both look friendly and happy. Well, think, I'm confused. It, sound, it almost sounds like it's outdated. It's like, oh, you're still beating your wife? 
I just burned my wife with lit cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. So 1952. Yeah. yeah, there's 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 better, more efficient torture methods you now than just beating, beating your wife. This your book, wife. if you're still just rudimentary, like rudimentary beating her, you know. And I like you can send 15 cents in stamps or coin. Coin, they'll take stamps too, right? Oh but, yeah. But, but you know, make sure you do it yourself because if you get a woman to put the stamps on that shit, you, you don't know if she's gonna <laughs> be able to fucking get, get it right. Wife beating. And that's why you gotta get stamps.com. <laughs> This next one is a classic. If your husband ever finds out you're not store testing for fresher coffee, and then it has a woman bent over a man's lap, and he is seriously about to wail the shit out of her ass, I think. Because she bought the wrong coffee. stale ass coffee. That coffee was weak. Should, but, should have bought the Chase and Sanborn coffee. Chase and Sanborn coffee. It, like, so is this what, this was a thing. Like, you could test coffee at the store. Unless you want a black yeah. eye. I mean. Yeah, you'd I think to, you'd better. <laughs> if you yeah. go in and open every single package and grind it. And just grind beans, it and just do your own percolating. And a pour over. Right I think the unspoken the rule was the shopkeeps would just look the other way with all these women in line with black eyes looking terrified yeah, as shit. Like the, eventually, the coffee aisle is just women limping and just fucking. <laughs> barely able to stand up because they're all testing the coffee in the hopes that their fucking husband won't beat the shit out of them. Maybe he's just not a morning person. 